Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I just wanted to switch gears a little bit and today I'm going to be doing just the face of the day going over how I achieved this look. So first off, this look is inspired by Destiny Godly's new video she just came out with and um, I know if you follow her you know what video I'm talking about. I just had to do something <laughs> like it so this is what I came up with. And this look is also featuring some new products. So let's get started. I'm just going to break down everything I used. So I'm going to start with the hair. Um, I introduced this hair in a previous video. I have it kind of pinned back because it's hot. <laughs> but this is what it looks like. And this is the color. So, I um, wanted to do get something brown, so I got this from wigtypes.com, I think the website is, but I'll put a link below of this uh, style wig from that website. And when I took it out the box, I'll show you a picture of how it looked. So very pretty. So I'm going to go over the face real quick. What I have on for foundation is first I primed in the T-zone with my uh, Body Shop All-in-One Insta Blur. And then I apply my foundation. This is my new top of the line foundation which is high end I guess you can say and that's from Black Up Paris and I'm loving this I don't even have any um, it's the um, mattifying fluid I don't have any setting powder on I just put this on and um, the color is in number 14 And has a pump, which I love. So I'm not doing a formal review, but this is some good stuff. I got found out about this from the Mind Catcher, and she talks a lot about Black Up Cosmetics. So um, then I apply my concealer by NARS, the Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is in Amande, and I did the. <laughs> areas and then I set it with my hourglass ambient lighting powder and radiant light and looks like this so I really like how that looks so that's setting it and also giving my highlight to me so I really like that and then for blush I'm using a La Femme blush in Indian Rose so it looks like this and then I'll go over oh and also after I put everything on I set it with this Pixie by Petra Glow Mist And I found out about this from Jackie Ina. She was talking about this, so just set my face with that. And uh, for lips, this look is also featuring this new product here. <laughs> so this is from Magnolia Makeup. And it's in the color Space Age. 
So this this is kind of inspired by this gloss. This is a um, liquid matte, but it dries metallic. It's like a iridescent blue and purple. So yes, I had to circle this look around these lips. <laughs> so for the eyes, I'll go over those next. So I'm going to try to remember <laughs> everything I did. Uh, I'm going to start with the lashes that I have on. And I'm going to show you a picture of those. I put those on last, of course, but I'm going to show you a picture of them before I forget. So here's a picture of the lashes in the package. So those are the lashes and then for the eye makeup. So what I used was the BH Cosmetic Eyes on the 70s palette. Now before I get into this I'm going to just go over the steps. So for highlight under the brow I use Max Arena. And then I blended in the highlight with the color from Makeup Forever. This color here, and it's M600 Pink Brown. And then I also used this blush from Be a Bombshell in Fetch. Looks like that. And I used that also as a kind of transition color. And then what I did was I think I went into the palette. Now this is also the palette that Destiny Godly used and since I had the palette I said well I got to try this look because I got all the colors right here. <laughs> so I'm going to leave a link below though with her uh, video so you can check out the original and what I was trying to imitate. <laughs> so I used the light pink like she, the frosty pink like she did is this one right here and then I blended in this pink here in the crease like right above the crease so you can see just a little bit of that little pink and then I applied a white base like she did on the lid and blended it out and then on the outer I, I guess you could say I use this bluish purple color and then in the outer corners I use this darker purple and I also used this dark darker purple right here I mean this is the uh, this is I'm sorry dark blue and then this is a darker blue to just make it more intense in the outer corners. I also put those colors down below and then I think that's all the colors I used out the palette. Oh, and I did use this kind of iridescent purple bluish color in the middle at the bottom. So for the actual middle of the lid I'm using these new colors from a site that I just heard about on Instagram it's called Luxy Beauty and I'll put a link below to their channel but uh, once I get all my colors in the palette I'm gonna go over each color and swatch them for you but they have these colors called uh, Aurora or they're under this Aurora collection where they're all like duochromes. So they just had them and they sold out real fast. But I heard on the site that they're going to be bringing them back. I think they're going to even make them permanent. So this is one of them and that's what I have in the middle of the lid and I'll swatch it. It's kind of a silvery, it's got purple, like a purple undertone to it. Depending on, you know, where your head is going, you you know, you see different colors. So, 
I'd say kind of a silvery purple color and you may not see it <laughs> in the camera there but I'm trying to show it to you but that's this color and it's in Genesis so oh you might have saw it there <laughs> so yeah it's real pretty and that's what I have in the middle for my spotlight color and then for the also for the lower lash line I applied a glitter on top of the so first I applied a pencil this is a pencil from ColourPop and Cry Baby it's the lavender one light lavender so I applied that first and then I applied that color from the palette and then I applied a glitter on top and that's from Lit Cosmetics and Angel Eyes this is size 2 and it's a pretty kind of lavender silver purple glitter and so I applied a little bit of that underneath here right in the area where I have the lavender pencil I don't know if you can see it but that's what I did just to add a little pop to the look and that's pretty much all I did so that is the look and I hope you like this look and I hope this look will inspire you to create something of your own thanks for watching and taking your time out to Kick it with me for a second and have a great day. Bye.